Hey all you I'm doing combination book hauls. Or not book haul, but um what's it called? Um uh, book review. I'm doing the good, the bad, and the in between here. Because as some of you know, on my last book review when I said what I was reading, I was reading these guys, all four of them. I read all of them, all four. I actually just read three of them. Um, one sitting. And I don't want to do a full review on all four because there's not enough to talk about for all four of them. So I'm going to do a combination for this, for these two. For Poe and for The Good Neighbor. I'll start off with Poe. Um... It says everyone knows Poe created the detective genre, but did he or but did you know that he was a detective himself? Finally, the secret is revealed for the first time. Even the world of Poe follows the famous author in the darkness that travels the supernatural killer raving the streets of Belthmore and the restless adventures of the fans of the book like Hellboy. This is by. J. Barton Mitchell. I didn't like it. I gave this like a two, I think, two out of five. It sucked. It didn't catch my attention. I like breezed right through it. The art. After staring at it for so long, it sucked. And I just didn't get into it. The characters weren't interesting, I guess. But I'm not a historical fiction person. So I don't know why I thought I'd read it. But, whatever. Then you have The Good Neighbor by Holly Black. This is book one, Kin. It says, Ruth Silver's life seemed... <sighs> Or isn't all it seemed to appear to be? Her mother has disappeared. Her father has been accused of murder. Is he guilty or is there another truth beneath it all? Rue digs deeper in her family's past and makes a startling discovery. Her, mo her mother was a fairy and has vanished back to the fairy realm because of a broken promise. In order to get her back, Rue must plunge into the depths of her own identity to no similar twist of fate as she does in... And so she does, and they start talking about Holly Black. Okay. I was 50-50 on this. I think I gave it a 3 on Goodreads. The art, yet again, sucked. I hated how they did Rue. She has such an ugly face. I mean, ugly, like, horribly like, dude, that picture is going to give me nightmares for the rest of my life. Uh, I don't like it. Quit with the ugly artwork, people. I don't get it. But, I kind of want to see what book two would offer. I mean, I didn't hate the storyline. Like, it was a really cool story. It just... The artwork sucked, the overall story was kind of lacky, and it jumped. For those of you who know me, I hate jumping in stories. I don't get it. I just, it doesn't, it's not very cohesive. I believe that's the word I'm looking for. So then I only got a 3 out of 5. I've made... <laughs> The horrible discovery that I'm terrible at picking books. Terrible. But stay tuned for the set number two, which will be coming up in a few minutes, hopefully, if I get around to it.